So recently I moved and I had a bunch of mail sent to my old house. Uh, and I just got it yesterday. Let's do this. So the first thing we're going to start off with is this awesome thing. It's from GoPin Pro, who are some pretty awesome people. And it is a backpack for your pins. How freaking cool is this? So this is a display. It's kind of like a mashup of all of their bags from before. So it's like it's the display. And then also you open it up. Stick your pins in that one. And then you open up the rest of the backpack. And then you can put your pins in here. So I am stoked for this. I pre-ordered it when they announced the pre-order. And I can't wait to take it to the parks. Like, this is going to be so cool and so convenient for trading. And they also included some of their own pins, which is really cool, including this one of their mascot, which I believe is a chinchilla. So super cute. I really like that. I cannot wait to use it. So this next box is from OB Girls. They're on Instagram. They are my favorite by far pickup service from both Walt Disney World and Disneyland, which is really great. Uh, they don't usually pick up for Disney World, but sometimes I think they either have representatives who go or um, end up going themselves to Disney World, so they will have pickups occasionally, but I think their main thing is in Disneyland. Uh, which is pretty great for like monthly pin releases and stuff like that. <clears throat> they always include some awesome extras like maps, which are really awesome, especially if you don't get to attend things like the Not So Scary Halloween Party, which I didn't get to go to, but it's really nice to have a map from that. I collect maps like a lot of other people in the community, so I'm super stoked about that. So thank you, OB Girls. And let's see. I think this is from September. So these will be September pin releases. I'm super excited about this one. I love Pudge the Fish. He's so cute and I'm really happy that they included him and featured him in one of the uh, limited edition pins and retail price on that $16.99. Yeah, super cool. And then again, I didn't get to go to the not so scary Halloween party this year. I really wanted to, but I didn't get to go. But that was okay because the Obi girls always got my back. And they picked this up for me, which is the limited release not so scary Halloween party pin. I love the design on this. It's really cute. I really like the new um, the new Mi Mickey and Minnie animations. So I love that style, and I'm happy that they have this pin in that style which is really awesome and the ob girls don't only pick up limited edition or limited release pins they pick up anything that you want in the park which is really nice uh, so in case you don't get to go as often as you would like or you don't want to miss anything that's been released in the parks they have got your back on that so like this for example is an open edition like sweets and treats pack which is really nice it's really cute one of my main collections is food so of course I needed to get this for my collection the retail price is $24.99 yeah super cute I love that it's such a great set and this is one of the donut one from the donut set collection. I really like this set. I don't really want to collect all of them, but only the ones that I really am interested. Like, I'm not going to get the Dumbo one. But I did like this Tigger one, 
which is really cute. I really like the colors. I love the rubber accent and I love that you can open them and it's like a little shop inside. So yeah, so far the only one from that set that I want that I don't have yet is of course Mickey and that's gonna be really expensive. I think that's the one that everybody wants, of course. Because it's a really cute, it's a really cute pen. I don't blame anybody for wanting it. The next pin here is the Once Upon a Time pin. It's Hercules. So I'm not a huge Hercules uh, collector. I am actually a Hera completist. I really like Hera. So, of course, I had to get her since she's featured on this pin. I also really collect Meg, too. So I guess this is, this is all right for my collections. Next pin is another pin from the Not So Scary Halloween event. Again, I collect food themed pins, so I had to get this one. It's really cute. I love the, the popcorn, it's rubber accents. I love the pin on pin design. It's really cool. I like the background. It spins. Very cute. I really like that. And then I have another limited edition that I got picked up from OB Girls. I don't really collect a lot of Star Wars pins. I did go to the um, Star Wars Night event, so I have a couple of those limited editions, but otherwise it's, I don't really collect um, Star Wars. But I do collect Captain Phasma. So I definitely needed this. This is a huge pin. Like for size comparison, that's that's how big this pin is. So it's really nice, shiny, and retail price $17.99. That's an awesome one. And then the last one from Obi Girls. I'm super stoked about this one. I actually only wanted one of these pins, so. I'm, I'm already traded one pin, and I'll probably either sell or trade the other four, or other th two. But um, it is this Mysterious Shadows set for the Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. I am a Peter Pan collector, so I just wanted Peter Pan. But um, somebody was looking for the um, Princess and the Frog pin. So I might keep the three fairies. I'm not really sure. But this one will definitely be up for trade or for sale. But yeah, this is a really nice set. A limited edition of $1,054. I really like the box too. It's really cute. I like the, the Mickey shape. The Mickey ghost. In my next package, I have fantasy pins. I, I tried, when I first started getting into collecting, I tried not to um, get too many fantasy pins, but I, some of these pins are just so pretty that you can't not buy them. And this was one of my exceptions to my rule. It's one of the um, centaurs from Fantasia, and it's just so pretty. Like, I, I couldn't not get this one. And that is from Planet Pinwheel on Instagram. Uh, I think they might be selling extras. I pre-ordered this, so I'm not really sure. But um, I guess if anybody's interested, I have two. This one looks like it's flawed. Um, but I, I'm willing to trade it. Yeah, it looks like this one was flawed a little bit. You can see her skin tone is different and her makeup is different too. Yeah, it's really pretty. Like, I love that style. And then they also included this little, like, like, army tag of Donald Duck. It's so cute. I love Donald Duck, so that's awesome. That'll be going on my bag, probably. The next pin I got, I bought from someone on Instagram. Like I said, I am a Peter Pan 
uh, pin collector, so I definitely needed this. It's got a bit of a slider element, which is awesome. But yeah, this is a really cool pin. I don't collect Peter Pan, like the movie, like the other characters, like Wendy or anything. I mostly collect just Peter Pan and the Lost Boys. So this was definitely a must need for my collection. Super awesome. And then the final bit of pins that I got were of course this month's Mickey Memories, which was awesome. I didn't actually go to get them. Um, I was sick. Uh, usually I go every month, but this month I was sick, so uh, my aunt picked them up for me. They're really cool. I didn't really like care too much about these, but I really like the like the code that they have going on here and the, the like I guess the hidden Mickey within the Mickey. That's really cool. So yeah, it's super nice and. Um, my aunt was telling me while she was there, uh, it's really weird. I don't know if anybody else's Disney store does this, but they, um, they had extras from January, which was awesome because I didn't start collecting, I didn't start collecting this, uh, set until I think April or May. So all of the, be I missed like all of the beginning months. So she picked this up for me too, which is awesome. So I'm one step closer to being a completist for that set. So that was super cool. And of course, I got the doll, which is awesome. I didn't I also didn't realize that he had the, the coat on his, his body too, which is really cool. He also has Mickey Mouse hidden on him in different places. So that's really cool. And I think this month's Mickey Memories was packed because they also had like the Ariel doll and they also had the gold um, Mickeys. Uh, they only had 25 of the big ones, but like last I checked, the big ones are still online for $50 at the Disney shop. Um, but my aunt did get me one of these, which are really cute. And there's the tag for Mickey's birthday. So that's really awesome. I'm gonna keep this one. And of course, you can't have the set without the mug, which the mug is really cool too. It looks like a computer chip. That is so cool. And then they were giving out little stickers. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick this somewhere or try to keep it. I don't know, I'm always weird with my stickers. I always wanna try to keep them, but I don't know. I might stick this somewhere. So yeah, that is my huge Disney mail haul for this month. I will, since I'm at my new address now, I will probably be better at keeping up with all of my pin mail and stuff like that. So probably won't big a, be as big of a haul as it was this time, but it's always nice to get a lot of pins in one go. Thanks for watching.